Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome once again to the flight deck. It's been a couple of weeks since my last flight, but we're back, and this time we're WestJet 1169, which is a flight that runs from Orlando to Toronto. Um, flight time of 2 hours 20 minutes, roughly. Um, we'll be departing from Orlando, which is where we're at now, at um, runway 18 right, uh, arriving at Toronto and runway 24 right. Um, eight and a half tons of fuel today, and we're flying at flight level 39 at zero. So we'll go ahead and start getting this set up. I'm full of cold, so I'm sorry if I'm a bit raspy. Connection. Okay. Chocks are in place, so connect ground power, connect the air starter unit, and the air conditioning unit. Remove the pitot covers. Fuel. So, fuel today 8,400 kilos. That's in pounds. <coughs> okay, so my weights being English are in kilos. Um, this is WestJet livery and PMDG's liveries tend to come with a configuration of which that airline actually flies. So this is in pounds as it is in America and Canada. Um, so quick translation, um, we're looking at 18,518. 18, 18.8 pounds. That's better, 40% fuel. That gives us an hour, roughly of uh, reserve fuel. <coughs> okay, let's go ahead and start turning things on. Battery can come on. You can go onto a line, on direct current. current. Right, right, they're aligning, lovely. Leave those to do their thing. Um, Central pumps on, fuel pumps on. Cool, right, we've taken charge of the aircraft, so they've gone steady, they already are. Packs onto auto. APU please on that, doesn't need to be on for the time being. Okay, emergency exit lights come and be armed. Seat belts onto auto. Start to switch onto both. Okay, and that's everything done for now. Let's just see how long it's going to take for the rest of the line. Okay, we've got seven minutes. The nav data is out of date, I know that. Only from December, so we're not going to be massively different. Okay, airport reference. Kilo, Mike, Charlie, Oscar. We're at gate 17, which I'm not sure if this is where WestJet generally. Okay, it's not in the database, we won't be putting that in. Uh, is it Charlie 17? I think. Try that. No, it doesn't like that at all. Okay, the route we're going to be taking, MCO, destination, Charlie, Yankee, Yankee, Hulu. Flight number is WS1169. Runway 18, right. Okay, we do have a company route, um, but I've not put that into the right folder yet, so I'll be back in one second. Right, so we've moved that over, so we are Kilo, Mike, Charlie, Oscar, Charlie, Yankee, Yankee, 
Zulu. And that should bring up the company route. There we go, we can activate that. 1 8 right, a departure. There's a short taxi out from here. Uh, flight number 1169. Execute that. And go on to the next page. As you can see, all the legs and everything, hopefully, no discontinuities have arisen. Right, a departure out of Orlando today is going to be Jaguar 5, 1 8 right. Jaguar 5. Execute that. And our depart uh, our arrival, sorry, into uh, Toronto is runway two four right. We should be on Goofy six. Two four right, and there is no Goofy six. Now this is really good. What is our last waypoint then? In that case. Man, Let's see what we can come up with here then. Okay, two, four, right is selected. Okay, I'll check the charts en route. We can sort that once we get there. Don't worry about that too much now. Okay, it reserves. Again, it's in pounds, so I don't know. What's one ton? How many pounds are there to a ton? Two point two. Cost index of forty. Art level of three nine at zero. And one limit. D rate. Prime one. Take off flaps 5. That's where gravity gives us a trim of just under 5. B1122, one, one, two, 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 rotate 125. Back, I'm going to have the cut back on. I haven't printed off the winds or anything. Um. Okay, so the disco is Ebdal. We are Oxman. Then on to Ebdow. We can look into. Well, I can look into that whilst we're at cruise. We're just waiting for the IRS to align here. So we'll just sort the MCP out. Three nine zero. Course one eight zero. The runway heading. And the same again. Okay, TCAS test. And there we go, we're up and alive and good to go. Okay, now we can also do our TCAS test. TCAS test pass. 
Okay, and just select weather on there. Effect can obviously come alive. I'm all happy, so we can close doors. Action, doors, close door. As a result of that, we can now take away the jetway. Beacon light can come on. Logo light can come on. APU can be started. Pupilly can then come on. The window heat on. Probe heat on. Your damper will be done once the engine's got started. Right. Am I happy? Uh, yep. No, what director on? Auto thrust on. Check that we are departing one eight right. Just the way that's pointing suggests we're not. So departure one eight right. Figure five. Yes. Right. Okay. So <laughs> one limit. Request. In fact, I'm going to have to do it this way, otherwise I'm going to stop my recording. Uh, how do I do it? There we go. Let's push back. Right, set. Move. Oops, no. Ground connection. Yep. Brakes released, packed off. We'll start engine two. Charlie, 
Kilo Mike Charlie Oscar Airport Information Hotel 1453 Sulu Weather Wind 166 at 15 Visibility 10 Sky Condition View Clouds at 1400 Temperature 25 U.20 Altimeter 3000 Advice on Initial Contact You have Information Hotel Kilo Mike Charlie Oscar Airport Information Hotel 1453 <laughs> Contact arrival on Right, welcome back. We're just about to pass transition altitude, 18,000 feet. Wait for that to pop up. Right about now. Before we actually do that, we'll just tune in ATIS and have a listen. Charlie, Yankee, Yankee, Sulu, Airport information. Quebec, 1700, Sulu, weather, wind. Zero, nine, zero, at six, visibility one, zero, sky condition, ceiling six, thousand, broken, light, rain, temperature one, Climb level one, three, three, zero, level three, three, zero, three, three, zero, three, 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 Georgian 7340, what's your yeah, indicator? 29590, and we're getting quite a bit of turbulence as well. One. Okay, yeah. I'll assign uh, 300 or greater for sequencing, and two, set level 2490 two, when you're ready. Okay, three, or 300 or better, and descent 2401 ready, Georgian 7340. Thank you. Okay. There's quite a bit of cloud which is playing havoc with my frames. Alright, we'll go ahead and start getting set up. Or the approach. Okay, so we'll be landing on flaps 30, 126 knots approach speed, 25 for wind correction, so 131. 
course of runway 237. And we're tuning the radios which were 109.3. Turn left, go to our Sterlo on board. Yeah, we use speed brake of auto brake, sorry, of two. And the gate we'll be going to is Charlie 22. Uh, we'll use a GSX follow me vehicle for that. This is the first time I've been here. And because my Navigraph subscription has run out, uh, I haven't got airport yeah, charts. Google the approach plate, which is how I know where we're going. Hopefully, it'll all be okay. Let's have a look at our final waypoint. Is 3,000 or above and the restriction. Okay, so go around altitude, 4,000 feet. Better look, we won't need to use it. We'll see how we get on. Okay, coming up on 10,000 feet, so landing lights can go on. Weather radar's picking up some clouds. Just over the airport, but we should be okay. We'll do a right turn in a minute. And there is the airport. Straight in front. I don't have any reports up your direction there at 30, or actually any altitude other than 30, sorry, 28 was reported pretty good, but no reports of that up that way. Okay, thank you. Scenery well, is flight temp is Toronto.
a speed brake out just to reduce that speed down to 200 knots. And it looks like we may have snow. Flight level 270, 27. Yeah. Once we make our left turn, we'll activate the approach. There we go. Flaps five. Watch at twenty seven oh two, contact Cleveland Center, one twenty seven zero seven. So long. Or twenty seven zero seven. Six zero six, contact Toronto on one three four five seven six. Phase activated. See how this plays it with my frame. Okay, so we have the airport in sight. Requesting direct Riddick, we're uh, planning to do the uh, ILS 03. Quarter 611, just to catch you the handout feature here, the next guy, and put your request in there, they'll help you over there. Morning, Air Transat 606. There is the famous to Toronto to Tower to our left. Air Transat 606, Toronto, good morning. Climb down to play level 230. Make your speed 310 knots or better. 230 and 310 or better on the speed, Air Transat 606. Four nine seven, so long. Three four nine seven, uh, Delta. Oh, Delta Charlie, Charlie, one ready to send for level two four zero. Hey, D so now. Montreal, water ski four six nine eight one eight zero six three zero. Uh, water ski four six nine zero Toronto Center, you're ready to identify. Climb maintain for level three two zero. I'm going to suggest that as a final for the next little while for the ride. There goes to the moderate port of thirty six and thirty four is continuous light. Alright, we're climbing to 320 and 
Speed brake on. Speed brake on. Just a little bit premature there with the gear down and flaps. Dirty, but. It's extremely premature, never mind. Good morning, speed not above 310 knots for now. Climb to flight level 230. Okay, climb by 220, speed not above 320 knots. Not above 310 knots, on wing uh, 2231. Not above uh, 310 knots, on wing 4104 traffic at your 1230 or 1 o'clock here, 15 miles westbound, climbing to 1,000 below your altitude. Okay, 4104. Really did get that wrong. <coughs> Porter 465, just be advised, uh, 320 ahead, uh, reported moderate turbulence at level 220. Uh, just let me know what, what you'd like to do. There's 12387. 12387. Okay, glide slope is captured. Nine two three seven. Uh, go around altitude four thousand feet. Zero four contact ground one two one nine. Play with my phone. Go to the Three degrees off track. That's because of the ten ten knot wind we've got coming across from our left. And I'm sure, by the looks of things, there's going to be some AI getting in my way. Still below the glide path, according to the Happy lights. At six zero two, the bus is rolling with two five zero at four knots. Clear to land and traffic. Traffic. Yeah. Okay. So they're taking off this way. Uh, right. A little bit AI. They always get it wrong. Okay. Past thousand feet. So autopilot off. I have control.
602, exit Hotel 3 to Hotel and contact 1025. And we are down. All the de-ices are out by the looks of things. Okay, sweep break, up. Oh. Flaps up. Oh. Strobes can come off. Onto steady. APU start. Taxi lights on, landing lights off. Okay. APU bleed can come on. And we will ask GSX to take us to our gate. Okay, so the gate we want hasn't shown up on there at all. But we'll get rid of that then. <coughs> and we'll find our own way there. Never mind. Auto brake, come off. high amount of cloud really does affect my frames if it's a clear day right now my frames will be fine um, when I'm not recording frames are obviously pretty good uh, but you lose between 4 four to 8 I do at least when recording ok weather radar TCAS can come off Taxi on to oh, taxi on to the gate. There is the West Jet stand over there. Outside air temperature, 11 degrees. Very much doubt there'd be much snow on the floor if it was. I'm pretty sure we won. Is the gate in that corner there? Could be the next one. No, it is that one. I'm pretty sure. Let's find out. He's on 22, so we'll have to take 24. Yeah. United 547 is with you on Alpha, holding short of Alpha Kilo. 
547, good morning. You Alpha, hold short November. Alpha, hold short in November for United 547. 547, come back with the wheels of time. Uh, okay, there we have it. So, if you're uh, generating, come on. Line. Engines can be shut down. The lights can come on. Alright, so three on that one there. Got 602, taxi cross 15 left, Bravo, hold short, Bravo 1. 15 left, Bravo, so Bravo 1, Jessica. Another 556 on the ground, Roma 2. That's it, and I think the next flight may be on X Plane 10. I haven't got X Plane 11 yet. It may be on X Plane 10, back to Europe somewhere. Not quite sure where. But until next time, thanks for watching, guys. Take care.